I'm Daniel Smokowski. I'm a Special Olympics Illinois athlete and global messenger. It was founded by Eunice Kennedy Shrivel, uh, and she, uh, whole, she had a sister who had a uh, disability, and she uh, first started with Camp Shrivel uh, in her uh, backyard. The uh, first Special Olympics Games were held in 1968 at Soldier Field in uh, Chicago. There were athletes from 26 states and Canada. There were about 1,000 athletes in the first games. And uh, today there are uh, more than 1.7 million athletes in the entire world from 150 countries. Anyone with an intellectual disability uh, and uh, to uh, compete, you have to be at least eight years old or above. Special Olympics and what I really enjoy about being part of, of Special Olympics as both an athlete and a global messenger is that they, they emphasize through the, through the organization and the movement on abilities and not disabilities. So the focus is on all achievements, uh, what we can do as opposed to what we can't do. Athlete oath for Special Olympics is, is let me win, but if I cannot win, let, let me be brave in the attempt. Gained a lot of friends by being in, in Special Olympics, and it's more than an organization uh, because it witty it witty uh it's like a, a family when when you go to a special olympics event and you see us compete it really shows the world that we too can be a part of society uh when you volunteer you you're going to want to volunteer again there are many ways that you can volunteer uh, well, one, reach out to your local Special Olympics event. If you're in Illinois, you can go to soill.org. Now, as I understand, you guys are in college? Yes. <laughs> so, a lot of... Uh, so, there's a network of college students called, uh, called Special Olympics College or oh, Soul College, as they call it. And it's a network for college students that helps you to get involved in Special Olympics. One of the big things about the Special Olympics is they have the athlete leadership programs, <laughs> which is a uh, way of how athletes can lead. So one of the parts of the athlete leadership programs is, is, is global messengers, um, like myself. Well, well, we're trained to give speeches and basically be a spokesperson. It shows everyone else that we too can lead. That that we can that we can give speeches. That we can give presentations. That we can give interviews. We will just a much a part of society as everyone else would. The same as everyone else. You might. People might not see that, but we are the same. As for advice, don't let what others say that you have a disability, don't let that hold you back. Take, it, take advantage of your abilities. And like what the Special Olympics Athlete Oath says, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be, be, be brave in the attempt. Don't, don't let the label of disability put you down because it's it's just a label uh so i i have seen a lot of models but those too many to carry uh so oh, really? <laughs>